Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today, I'll have another episode of unboxing video and I'll be opening Manfrotto Pixie Evo 2 mini tripod and I'm expecting this video about 8 to 10 minutes long Manfrotto Pixie Evo tripod uh, this is uh, this tripod has various features and uh, I bought this with my own money this is not a paid review or affiliated review so there will not be any affiliated link in the description box below or anywhere and the reason I bought this uh, I wanted to try how it feels to do my own video blogging especially when I'm on the street uh, or when I would like to take my own video holding the camera putting on top of the tripod so let's start with the unboxing first then I'll go through some features and uh, uh, how it feels and everything else okay so here's the package and I'll just give you some special uh, some uh, details from the package which is right here so the maximum uh, weight this can support is 5.5 pound or 2.5 kg which is right here so I would say it would, it would be good for most uh, handy DSLR cameras and the 5.5 pound is a lot of weight so it should be okay for uh, most of the ca everyday cameras you we use and then uh, it can go high as uh, 7.88 inch or uh, 20 centimeter and actually it, it has two different sections and uh, the aluminium ball head is uh, rotate has rotating wheel or ball head and it has a locking knob as well and on the back of the uh, packaging you can, you can see various ways to uh, use the mini tripod and uh, it has leg angle selector and the material is made of uh, two uh, different uh, materials which one is adapto which i believe a combination of plastic or something else and that it's got aluminium and uh, it's uh, it should feel very good in hand and uh, let's open up and uh, take a look at how it looks and feels The first impression is that it feels good in my hand, it feels durable and sturdy and uh, it's made of aluminium and adapter, two different uh, materials and uh, when you open it then it comes this way, uh, that's the widest angle possible, uh, however there is a knob right here and if you sli slide it towards the left then you can actually achieve even farther placement closer to the ground so it's going to be like this way and this is very good for macro shooting or other uh, type of video or shooting where you want to be very closer to the object uh, or subject so that it has that feature However, most of the time I'll be using uh, this angle, so I don't need this to be that closer to the ground. Now, when you, when you put it on, on a flat surface, then it feels very stable and sturdy, and it has a rubberized grip on right here. Uh, video may not be catching it properly, but uh, there's something rubberized grip here that, you know, keeps it sturdy on the surface. And then these three legs, they have uh, separate positioning levers uh, there's a button right here and you can achieve a different height based on where you place them so for example I can extend it all the way and then it can be this high or I can just put it in the middle and then it can come up to this side another thing you can do let's say you can put them put different legs in different positions to achieve your desired uh, height for example this is all the way and this is uh, 
the shortest length and then if you put your camera here then it will give you a different angle to do video or photography now one thing I would like to show you that uh, when you uh, insert other tripod into the quarter inch uh, hole then uh, what happens you have to remove the whole thing to tighten it up uh, tighten that up but for this one actually if you just put it here all you have to do is just uh, circle the button here and that will tighten up the camera on the surface so you don't have to uh, move the whole thing so that's a good feature okay so that tightens up the whole camera and then you can achieve various uh, levels you can push it place it this way uh, and you have to tighten up the knob here to tighten up the ball head or let's say if you want it this way you can do that too you can tighten up so that that's a very good feature to have uh, you can move it that way any way you want and this is gonna be very handy in terms of uh, you know for vlogging let's say I'm at a restaurant or I'm sitting somewhere and I can just put this on a flat surface uh, or even I, I believe I can place it on an uneven surface and then I can position my camera towards any angle I want and then it's uh, I can do the video so I'll just remove this one here uh, it takes about probably like 10 15 seconds to un tie or remove the camera from the section so these are the main features of this tripod uh, in terms of uh, color it comes in three different color combinations I believe I mentioned that before and the feeling is very good the weight is not that bad and you can hold 2.5 kg or 5.5 pound Another thing I'd like to mention that uh, when I saw the picture of this tripod, I was expecting this to be a little bit slimmer. Uh, however, in reality, it looks like a little bit bulkier. It's not too bulkier, but I was expecting these legs to be slimmer. Uh, but uh, this is not a big deal, but that's what I thought it's going to be. Uh, however, still it's a good uh, weight and good shape to carry with you whenever you want to do a video or photography shooting outside and especially for a video blogging so overall I'm happy with the purchase I I can't find anything to complain about this product so I'm totally happy in terms of the price the color and the material and everything and by the look and by the look and feel of it it looks like it's gonna be a durable and it will last for many years to come so I'll end this video at this point and again this was not a paid video I purchased this with my own money and on this channel you'll find a variety of videos covering different topics and subjects I'm not limited to only one type of videos so if that's what you like to watch please subscribe and please like this video and uh, there will be more videos coming up on different topics so keep watching and uh, i'll see you shortly